Hi, I'm Sean Finnan from Limerick Post. Here are the top stories from the week. Minister for Health Stephen Donnelly says that all HSC staff, from administrator to frontline, are due some financial reward for the courageous efforts during the pandemic. While touring vaccination centres across Limerick, the Minister for Health has said that this is something he absolutely wants to see done. That the fight for the pandemic still isn't over, but something must be paid in order for recognition to be substantiated for the pandemic. He said while the rest of the population were told to stay home and keep safe, they went into hospitals to keep other people safe and that we must recognise that. He said that his department has recognised that the incredibly difficult year that this sector has had and has to be very aware to listen to any frustration that the sector brings to him. In the last 12 months, the average day-to-day -day number of people on trolleys in Limerick hospitals has marginally decreased, but this is not something to praise from Limerick TD Mars Quinlivan. The Limerick Sinn Féin TD said that the government must intervene on this ongoing crisis. He said he has raised this topic with the Minister of Health on numerous occasions and he is not the only person to raise this on numerous occasions. This past July saw the third highest figure of trolley numbers in the history of the University Hospital Limerick and has seen almost 6,500 on trolleys since January. After the 96 bed unit for University Hospital Limerick was decreased down to only 48 beds, the INMO has called in an investigation into this crisis which Quinlivan supports. In other news, Social Justice Ireland has published its review titled Ireland and Europe 2020 Strategy in which it reviews this policies in order to meet 2010 targets set for social policies. Its review of Irish policies showed that it had the inverse effect and further excluded those on the margins of society. Where it points to where the economy may have increased over the past 10 years, the last 10 years also saw the increase of precarious and low paid employment, which was exacerbated by the pandemic. The review's outlook on Ireland's educational policies were a lot more positive, as Ireland fared better on average than the European counterparts in all regards. But the major factor of Ireland's poverty rate stagnating under the European average is of major concern. And lastly, LIT's completion rate of courses for those that started in LIT in 2008 and 2010 are the highest in the state. The figures published by the Higher Education Authority showed that LIT had a completion rate of over 70% higher than any college or institution in the country. The LIT president said this was a testament to the amount of work the staff do in LIT and also the relationship they can garner from the staff to student. It was also noted this shows the strength of financial support aids in those students completing their courses in order to break down any hurdles that a financial limit may cause in order to allow all students the ability to graduate their course. I've been Sean Finnan from Limit Post. This has been the News Round of the Week. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening or night.